Hello everyone, as you know that we have already removed the edge transport server from our exchange organization. Now it's time to remove the DAG and the other exchange server from our on-premises exchange. So let's go to the server and get started. So right now we are on our exchange server. In our last video we have decommissioned our edge server and now we have a two server left that is EX02 and EX03. And we have a database availability group configured here. And if I run this command let get mailbox database copy status star db01 is mounted on ex02 2019 and db02 is mounted on ex03 and the both the database have a passive copy and these are healthy. We want to remove the DAG as well. If we go to the database you can see the db01 2019 the passive copy is healthy and it is on the ex03. So first of all we have to remove this because if we go and directly delete the DAG it will give us an error. Here you can see the error is there. There are two server in the group. So let's go to the database first and try to remove this passive copy. It has been removed and same I will do with the database 2 as well. I will remove the passive copy from EX02. So now the passive copy has been removed and if we go to the database availability group here we see the manage tag membership and now we will remove our server from here as well and we'll click on save. So it's stopping the operation and removing the cluster. So we have completed the operation. Let me close it and now let's try to delete the DAG. And I will hit on delete, click on yes. Now the database availability group is also deleted. And we have a EX03 as a mailbox server. We want to delete this as well. So right now I am on a server EX03 and if I type the command let get mailbox here you can see we have a discovery search mailbox and that lies on the EX02 2019. Let's confirm that get mailbox arbitration. They are also inside the EX02 2019 and let's do the same for the audit log as well. Audit log also resides inside the EX02 2019. So let's try to remove the database and try to uninstall the exchange from EX03 as well. Let's try to dismount the DB02 and I will dismount it. Say yes. It has been dismounted successfully. Let me run the command let remove mailbox database. It will ask the identity and the identity is DB02 2019. Are you sure you want to perform this action? Yes. It's saying you must remove the database file located in the this path from your computer manually if it exists. So we have successfully removed the database as well. Let me refresh it. Now we have only a one database left. Let's try to uninstall exchange. I'll go to the add remove programs. I will select the Microsoft Exchange Server 2019 and we'll click on uninstall. We'll click on next. It's checking for the prerequisites. Let me close this and let's retry it. Now it says uninstall. Now the setup has been completed and exchange server from our EX03 has been removed completely and is asking to reboot the machine. So now we have removed the exchange server from EX03 as well. Only the last exchange server is remaining. In our next video we will try to remove that as well. So let's meet in the next video.